Good day, everyone. John Bradshaw here again. And in this episode of our value news flashes for Cortex XDR, we're going to talk about prioritizing incident investigations using scoring. Now, when we talk about incident prioritization, we're going to utilize information about our assets, our users, and alert information to further refine the incident investigation prioritization process. Scoring is basically a way of calculating a numerical value based on the asset or user's relevance in the organization. So things like domain controllers or domain administrators, if they are involved in an incident, probably have more prioritization or would want more focus than, say, a back-end print server. Starring of an incident gives you a visual indicator to direct the analyst attention to a particular incident, and this is going to be based on matching field values out of the alerts that contributed to that incident. Now, without this scoring or starring capability, as you can see in this screen, all of my high severity alerts look and feel the same. I have no basis for my triage or starting my initial investigation process as to which one of these 14 requires more attention than the others. But when we add visualizations like starring or incident scoring, I now have a better breakdown where sorting by the incident score, I can see that there are several high incidents that should get my attention first. And there is even a high incident that's been starred as well, uh, two high incidents that have been starred, and even a medium incident that based on incident scoring is bubbling up higher than the lower high severity incidents that have no score or potentially could have a lower score. So this allows the analyst to have better focus on where to start in the queue. Now, scoring incidents and or starring alert incidents is done under the investigation management. Scoring rules can be based on host names, users, IP addresses, or Active Directory group or organizational units. So you want to do that directory sync setup with Active Directory to pull this information in, and it can be used in incident scoring. Starring is going to be based on alert field values. So when you set up the starring role, it's going to present you with alerts that you have been seen in XDR, and you can come in and basically set up a filter. In the particular demo that we do here, we have said that any alert where the category of the alert involved credential access, credential theft, we wanted to star those incidents in particular because it could mean that somebody now has credentialed access into the environment, and that would be a concern. Identity analytics in XDR 3.0 also plays a role in user scoring. You can come under the assets tab and look at user scores, and these are calculated based on information that is gleaned from Active Directory or from Workday, and they are based either on an incident score that you set up in the incident scoring configuration or on internal generated rules that calculate a score and compute its total value. So when you have, let's say, users that are persistently being involved in breach or incident situations, these users in the scoring will bubble up to the top when you sort the user scores there. And this may be something different to address with why is this user constantly being involved uh, in these different breaches or incidents and uh, getting their score jacked up. It could be that there's a misconfiguration on their system. They are doing things to weaken the configuration and maybe bypass security controls. Those require some follow-up investigation by the security team to make sure that the risk is reduced. And that's it. Remember that use incident scoring to further refine your investigation prioritization. You wanna integrate your Active Directory and or your Workday information for that user scoring and for incident scores that you set up for Active Directory. You combine 
incident scoring with your alert starring and user scores to create a robust prioritization process for your security team to tackle the most important incidents to your organization first. 